This increase, which is specifically in consignments of food and plant products and live animals, comes as a result of a rise in inspections, with numbers growing from less than 100 a week before Brexit to about 1,700 a week, data from the Department of Agriculture shows. The majority of British products going through the new border controls covering sanitary and phytosanitary SPS checks, 47,000 out of 53,000 consignments, are coming through Dublin Port. More than 50,000 checks this year compares with less than 5,000 last year. Hazel Sheridan, head of the Department of Agriculture's Import Controls Division, said there has been a huge change at Dublin Port as a result of Brexit. Such a change comes as no surprise. Trade through Dublin Port has fallen significantly this year, more than 15% in the first quarter, with the port's chief executive Eamon O'Reilly associating this mainly with Brexit. Even though the coronavirus pandemic has had an impact on ports' performances too, Brexit checks carry the main responsibility in making trade in goods between Ireland and Great Britain more difficult. In response, some companies are now shipping their goods directly to other EU countries rather than doing it through Britain. They are also doing it through Northern Ireland ports. The new protocol is contributing to making Northern Ireland a distribution hub for businesses selling into the EU as well as the UK, a think tank has said. The Institute of International and European Affairs IIEA, claimed that, thanks to their special Brexit deal, Northern Ireland enjoys EU customs rules despite being part of the UK Customs Union, allowing free-flowing trade with the bloc. The IIEA sees this as an opportunity for Northern Ireland, saying, NE is in the UK Customs Union and also has free circulation in the EU. This makes NE a viable alternative distribution model to sell into both GB and the EU. But for goods arriving at Northern Ireland ports from Britain, with checks and controls, the NE protocol ISNT beneficial. Bureaucracy has also increased for importers and hauliers since the UK's departure from the EU. Eugene Drennan, president of the Irish Road Haulage Association, told the Irish Times, there is a huge amount of effort and time and minutiae of detail that goes into the consignments that get through. Why can't it be simplified? The Revenue Commissions, though not providing figures for the average wait time for lorries arriving in Northern Ireland, also told the newspaper, mandatory check for certain types of goods are simply a reality of trading with a third country, including Great Britain. Customs checks and paperwork have caused friction between Belfast and London, and European Commission negotiators are today travelling to the UK for several days of intensive discussions over the issue. Later this week, Chief Brexit negotiator Lord Frost and EU Commission Vice President Maro Sefcovic are due to discuss a raft of proposals put forward by the EU that includes reduced customs checks and paperwork on British products intended for Northern Ireland.
Meanwhile, Ireland's Foreign Minister Simon Coveney suggested talks on the Northern Ireland Protocol have a deadline of late December, telling PA, I think that window is on offer now to the British government if they want to use it to find a way of implementing the protocol in a way that responds to the vast majority of the issues and problems that have been raised. Lord Frost, admitting there were still significant gaps between the UK and EU on reaching an agreement, said both sides wanted the dispute over the post-Brexit terms settled one way or the other before December. He added, we have always been clear we don't want this situation to run on for a very long time and, to be fair to the Commission, they have said that as well. Still, there continues to be one major sticking point, the role of the European Courts of Justice ECJ, as the arbitrator, whose responsibility it is to oversee disputes. Lord Frost argues, we can't have the court of one of the parties settling decisions and disputes between us.